let's take a look at what I find to be the easiest way to flash the Minion by Rabbit Labs with the latest Marauder. It includes Evil Portal. So the first thing I'm going to do is, well, first thing I'm going to do is pick this thing up and take a look at it. It is beautiful. The boot button is this eye. The reset button is this eye. The Rabbit Labs logo and the banana. Banana, banana, Havana. So the first thing I'll do is plug this thing in. And you'll notice once I have it plugged in correctly, facing away, the light will turn on. There we go. Now, I want to go into my apps, go into GPIO, scroll down here to ESP Flasher. Quick Flash. Dev Pro. Now, before I do this, I want to go to these eyes over here. Let's take a look. I've got my boot and my reset eyes. I hold down boot. I press reset. I let go of reset. I let go of boot. Now I choose, and then I choose Marauder has Evil Portal. There it goes. Once all this information starts scrolling by, I know that I'm good. Let's just wait here. All right, looks like it's done. So I'm gonna go back. I go all the way back and then I do, I force a reset by hitting left and back. It'll do a little reboot and let's test it. One of the best ways right now anyway, to test if your Wi-Fi card has the latest Marauder is to do the Bluetooth attack. And I'm going to go to Marauder, go to my attacks, Swift Pair. That's a good Bluetooth attack for Windows. Let's, let's take a look. Okay, so it's going. I'll bring it close to my computer and then I'll tell you if it works. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you heard that, but it's working. It's spamming me. It's working very well. Spammingly. It's working spammingly. And that is how you update your minion by Rabbit Labs, the easiest, fastest, quickest, most awesome, superb way using the extreme firmware like a boss.